ya, pues como tú dices, están, no saben ni lo que están viendo. Por eso yo te me sigo peleando con ellos. Ahorita ve lo que ya le puse y ya me estoy peleando con ellos. Pero que le mandaron la foto. Ok. Okay, students, so we were in the number four. One more time, students. What is the information before and? You have two, you have two informations before and. What are the two informations? Send me the complete phrases, guys. Whoever can be Lupita or Abby. Lupita, tell me the two phrases before and. And the speaker introduced himself. Okay. So. The speaker is my subject. Yes? Yes. What is my verb? Introduce. Okay. Introduce himself, comma. Introduce himself is a phrase. What is the second phrase? Told several interesting anecdotes. Told several. Uh, okay, interest. No, 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 no. Several interesting anecdotes, yes? Yes. Anecdotes. Excellent. Ah, sorry, sorry. Coma. And what is the information mm -hmm. after and? Finishing with an emotional yeah. Finishing with an Emotional plea. Okay, so this is what you need to, to analyze. Not only somebody say, somebody told me interesting. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I need to analyze if it is only one or two. Okay, and I have commas also. Ah, maybe I, for, maybe I forgot uh, to tell you this. Before the comma, you have something, okay? So that is the complete information that you need to analyze because right here you have three different informations, okay? And one information is between comma, told, several interesting anecdotes, okay? So what do you have here? Introduce is a what? Uh, verb. A verb in past, yes? Yes. Okay. 
What is told? A verb. In verb past. in past. What is finishing? Verb in present continuum. Exactly. Right here we have a verb in present participle. Yes, because this is his present participle. Okay. So right there you have introduced himself, verb and a noun. Told several interesting in uh, stories. Okay. Verb and an adjective, but finally it's a verb in past. And finishing. It's a verb in present principle. What is the incorrect there? The finishing. Finishing, exactly, because it's a verb in present principle. Okay. But the three forms are phrases. Phrases with a verb. Verb and a phrase. Verb and a phrase, verb and a phrase. Boom. This one is incorrect because of finishing. I don't need finishing. I need finished. Finished. Exactly. So the number four will be incorrect. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the number five that I, I'm very sure that you solved. You should now, you should know when the program starts and how many units you must complete. What is your connector? And. And. Before and, what do you have? And after and, what do you have? Okay, let's check. You should know. You is my subject. Should know is my modal verb. That information is correct. When the program starts and how many units you must complete. In your opinion. What is this? It's correct. It's correct. Let me see. Okay, yes, in fact, it is correct. So what are the two correct structures? Yes, it is correct, okay? Just tell me what are the two structures so you can like memorize or learn. Somebody, somebody tell me. No? Uh, we have models in the two parts and also we have question. Exactly, right there, right there. We have questions. We, that, that they are not questions, they are connectors in, in these sentences, okay? But you identify your questions correct. What are the two questions? When and how many? Exactly. You have WH and WH. Okay. After when, what do you have? The subject. The subject, the program. After how many units, what do you have? The subject. Subject, you. Yes. You have stars, that is a? Verb. And what is most complete? Is the model. Is a model verb. Yes. So the sentence, the sentence is correct. Okay. Yes. So apply that one. Now, first the grammar, and secondly, your interpretation. Number six. The terms, sorry, the term paper he wrote was rather short, but very impressive. Is correct. Is correct, exactly. What is the information? What is your connector? But, 
Ah, sorry. Connector is what? Before what? Before. What do you have? Adjective. Exactly. Well, actually, you have two instructors. Yes, you have rather short. Short is the adjective. Rather is an adverb. Okay, after, but, very impressive. Very is, is a what? Very is a what, students? Come on, girls, tell me. What's very? No, you don't remember? No, teacher. No, very is, is, is an adverb. Impressive. Adjective. An adjective. Okay, so. You have adverb, adjective, adverb, adjective. That is the reason this one is correct. Okay, so here's, I'm, I'm doing this because I want you to comprehend why, not only because, ah, because I say that is correct, maybe, Maria dame punteria, and then I got it correct. No, 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 I want you to analyze and, and to have this uh, clear information in your mind. Number, number seven, she suggests, taking the plane this evening or that we go by train tomorrow. What do you consider this? Incorrect. Okay, why is incorrect? For the form of the verbs. Exactly. Okay, what are, now tell me what are the, well actually they are not verbs, but in a moment, maybe, maybe you tell me. Okay, what are the two bad structures here? Um, Taking. Exactly. Great. But remember that that one is not a verb. That one is a present, present participle. participle. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So let's start. She suggests subject and a verb. That information is correct. Taking the plane this evening. Taking the plane this evening. Or that is your connector that we go by plane tomorrow. Okay, so what is the incorrect? Go. Exactly. What do you need to do with go? The ING. Exactly. Good gear, that, that is what I need. Perfect. Ah, but something you need to eliminate, some extra information. What is the extra information? That and we. You don't need that and we. Okay, because remember that the two informations, yes, connected by and bore and but in or need to have the same structure. Okay, and, and these two structures are for the subject, not for another person. So she, so she suggests taking the plane this evening or going by train tomorrow. Boom.
Number eight. The dinas, the din, or the assistant din will inform you of when and where you should apply for your diploma. You have two connectors there. What are the two connectors? Or. Or and. And. And, exactly. Or and and, okay. So let's analyze the first one, or. The dean or the assistant dean. Do you have the same instructor? Yes. So that information is correct? Yes. Yes. The article dean or the article assistant dean whom will inform you of when and where. That information is correct or incorrect? Correct. Exactly, why? Because we have WH connector WH. WH, WH, you should apply for your diploma. The rest is, the rest is understandable information. Okay, students. Number nine, there are papers to file, reports to type, and those letters should be answered. Incorrect. Incorrect, okay, what is the incorrect part? Yes, it is incorrect. I'm going to tell you, it is incorrect. Now just tell me why. Um, for the verb, the should be answer, and the others verbs are and to type are in present. Exactly, well, you identify something. Listen, papers to file, reports to type, and those letters should be answered. What is the incorrect? One more time, papers to file, reports to type, and those letters should be answered. The last should be answered. Exactly. One more time. One more time. Can you repeat? Should be answered. Exactly. Could be to answer. Well, in fact, you have to eliminate something. Number one, what would you eliminate? Remember, papers to file, reports to type, and those letters should be answered. What would you eliminate? A ver, Amar, voy a tener aquí. Ahorita que regreses, le lees ahí. So then, students, what would you eliminate? No, no idea. 
Papers to file is correct. Papers, noun, and a verb. Papers to file. Reports to type, noun and a verb. And letters to be answered. Eliminate those and eliminate should. Okay? Because that information is unnecessary. That information is unnecessary. That information is unnecessary. Lele, ahorita. Yes? So some information is unnecessary there. You need to eliminate it. Okay? Number 10. The manager needed a quick but true response. So how do you consider this? Hmm? Teacher is thrown in past or not? No, no, no. Um, wait, which one is your connector? Both. Yes. Before both, what do you have? Um, yes, yes, tell me, tell me. An, uh, the article and an objective. Uh, okay. No, well, just before, just, just one word before but. Quick is a what? It's an adjective. It's an adjective. Quick is an adjective. So you have quick adjective connector but through what is through it's adjective it's an adjective exactly yes the manager subject and a verb remember always in this kind of sentences the subject and the verb are correct and and, and they are present the manager needs a ah, weak but true response. Yes, it's correct. It's correct, exactly. Quick and true. Adjective and an adjective. And these adjectives receive the noun response. Quick response, true response. Okay. I know that this, this lesson is a little bit complicated. It's not difficult, uh, students, girls. It's just a little bit complicated. Yes. Now, now what you were applying in the in the previous uh, lessons, because you were applying correctly. Ah, teacher, according to the grammar, and I was telling you, wait, 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 wait. Yes, the grammar is okay in this occasion, but first is to understand it. Yes. Now I'm telling you. Now it's time you apply, yes, you apply this uh, grammar, yes, this grammar, and then you understand it. Okay. Second, oh, sorry, <laughs> because sometimes I get really excited. Okay. Second pair, con, uh, second uh, parallel. Okay, number one, what you need to memorize students in this in this uh, second instructor are these words. Not only, but also. I mean, these two words, yes, need to be there. Not only, but also. Now, not only is always together like this. Don't insert a subject. Not he only. No, 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 no. Not only. But he also. No. But also. Okay. Second. Either or. Either or. 
Okay? That structure is always like this. Both and both two things. That's the reason we have both and and. And the last one, neither nor. Okay, so these words, these words, we call them pair conjunction or pair connectors. Okay, the, 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 the correct uh, grammar name is conjunction. Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes, well less a minute to memorize these four combinations, not only but also either or, neither nor, both and, like this. One minute. Okay, guys, ready? Ready, students? Ready. Yes. Okay, so number one, the book sometimes is combining not only or. Yes, that's the reason I'm, I'm telling you, memorize, learn by heart these combinations, yes? Not only or is incorrect automatically, but the rest of the structure is correct, yes, but not only an or is not the correct pair, yes? Just for that reason, it is incorrect, okay? That is number one. The book and the sentences in the exam are trying to get you confused, putting or making the pair Conjunctions mix up. They are going to mix up this. Okay. Number two, let's analyze. She can eat not only fish, but also, but also uh, vegetables. Analyze. She can eat not only fish, but also vegetables. What do you think? This one is, this information is correct or incorrect for you guys. Not only and but also is a correct pair conjunction. It's correct. It's correct. Fish 
according to the structure, fish is a what? Is an adjective? No. Is a? Noun. It's a noun. And what is vegetables? Noun. Too. Noun. Now with a noun, not only is together, but also is the correct per conjunction. The information is? Correct. Correct, correct. exactly. They have neither time for you or they have neither time for you or, or money for us. Okay. Incorrect. Again, what? No, incorrect. Incorrect. Why is incorrect? Yes, why is incorrect? Because neither is with nor. Exactly. So that is what the book is gonna try you to do, okay? It's gonna try you, make you get confused with this because nor and nor are very similar, okay? The only difference is that it's not the correct pair conjunction. Okay, great. They have drunk both the water and sodas. They have drunk both the water and sodas. Is correct. Is correct. Okay, I have one student saying that is correct. What about uh, another one? What about the others? Okay, number one. Vote. And is the correct uh, conjunction? Yes. The water. Sodas. Is it the same structure? No. No. What do you need? <laughs> we need the singular soda. Exactly. Well, you have two solutions. Eliminate the both water and sodas or include the the water and the sodas. Okay. Well, the final example, students. Or school. Okay, either he is at home or comes to school. Correct. Either or that is the correct pair conjunction. Okay. He is subject and a verb. What is at home? What is at home? No. Is a what? Yeah, repeat, repeat. Is a noun. And what is at? Preposition. Is a preposition and a noun. At home, exactly. What is comes? Verb. 
in to school? Preposition and noun. Oh, oh well, preposition and noun. Okay, but comes to school. Preposition. Yes. And Verb. Preposition and a noun. Is it the same structure? Yes. yes. One more time. At. Preposition. Noun. Yes. Verb. Preposition. A noun. Is it the same structure? No. No. Okay, so no. I need to eliminate. I need to eliminate. Comes. Comes. And I need to insert one, one a preposition. Either he is at home or at school. And then I have preposition noun, preposition noun. Okay, so I'm going to ask you because time is also running out. I'm going to ask you to write it in that page 153. You have some examples down there. Read these read this examples. Yes, and comprehend how they are using. And in fact, if you can like, like identify what they are using into the pair conjunction, that will be really great. Secondly, if you turn your book to page 154, you have 10 sentences. Analyze, analyze, and say they are correct or incorrect. Yes, students? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, well, it would be impossible for us to analyze the sentences because I need more time. Yes, and sometimes I need extra explanation to tell you why this one is incorrect and why that one is correct. So better for you, take your time. Yes, right now, relax, do it later or tomorrow before class. Yes, but take, take your serious time. And you will, you will see this topic is easy. Okay. Well, thank you students for your time. And then I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See thank you tomorrow. Thank you students for your time. And sorry if I like get excited sometimes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Adios. Thank you, teacher. Bye.